Right now, a new session of the Minnesota Legislature is just getting underway. Christian Cordero joins us live from outside the state capitol in St. Paul with more. That's right, Shayla. The state capitol sure feels like it's starting to come back to life a little bit here in St. Paul. Lots to get to this session and a unique way of getting there. The House convenes today uh, on Zoom and then the Senate, meanwhile, will try out a hybrid model. We're showing you pictures here of the Senate floor and that hybrid model. They will all have to find a way to agree on the issues and there are many. One top of mind, a, two, a new two-year budget with an expected deficit. DFL House leaders will be tasked with deciding whether they want to raise taxes and if so, for who specifically. And GOP Senate leaders think that we can cut government spending. Both know that they can find common ground. Leadership from both parties have done it before, albeit contentiously. The nature of a full legislative session means Republicans will have a bigger voice on pandemic related issues compared to the special sessions, but they still want to rid Governor Tim Walls of his emergency powers as they exist today. I just spoke with Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka and heard from House Speaker Melissa Hortman of what we can soon expect to perhaps see. We think they should end now. But where is the, the place that the governor can agree and we can agree that emergency power should end? Should it be when we get to 1C of the COVID uh, vaccination, which would be people over 65? You know, where is the point? And I think that everybody is willing to have a conversation, including the governor. And we've had several conversations about this from July uh, through now, particularly with Minority Leader Doubt, about how portions of those emergency powers might be modified. Both sides say that there is a version of that modified emergency powers that they would support. They just have to agree, Shayla, on what that version might look like. Back to you. Christian, thank you so much.